Hey, hey, all doing? Welcome to this video lead tutorial. So in this video lead tutorial, I'm gonna give you five basic editing tips that you might not know about. So tip number one is manually adjusting the size of an image. So unless you change the settings, the image will come in at three seconds long. Um, and all we're gonna do is select the image within our timeline and just drag the anchor up or down. And you'll notice in the bottom right hand side of the image where the anchor is, where the endpoint is, it will give you the duration that that is going to be. So tip number two is how to change the duration that an image gets imported at. So as you are probably well aware, it gets imported in at three seconds. So all you simply do is click the plus button to import a new image. Top right hand side, go to settings. And here is where you can change the default transitions or you can change the default photo duration. So if I change this down to one and a half seconds, every image that I now bring into the timeline is going to be one and a half seconds long. Likewise, with the live photos, you can choose to import them in as photos or videos. So if I go back, select this image to import, add that to project, you will now see that this is one and a half seconds long. Number three is how to create a separate layer. So really, really simple. All we do is select the item in our timeline that we want to create a separate layer, press and hold it, drag it into the top gray area bar and place it where we want to place it. And it will then drop in as a separate layer. Number four is how to add an adjustment layer so that you can put a filter on top of that and apply it across all of the clips that you've imported into your timeline. So most people, what they'll do is they will select a clip within the timeline and then they will select filters and then they will choose the filter for that, um, that clip only. The best way to do this so we can apply it to all of the clips, deselect anything in the timeline, select filters, and now you've got this little filter here, select presets, and now apply the preset you want to apply to that filter and drag that over for the duration of the clips within your timeline. And now you've got the filter or the preset added to the filter spanning the whole of the timeline. And then finally, number five is how to add your own sounds or your own music to your composition. So all we do is we've got our timeline right here. We click audio and then we have music, sound effects and voiceover at the bottom. I want to select music, but I want to choose my own music. I don't want to use stock music. So I select the little, little arrow next to artist. So then I navigate within my files where I've saved the sound file or the music file MP3 that I want to use within that. Really simple. So that's five basic tips that I hope will help you out when you're using Video Leap. Take care. Catch you all very soon.